Hey guys, sorry this video is a bit late, but I have been super busy with work lately, so I haven't had the time to um, put my thoughts together. Uh, but if you haven't guessed by the title, today I'm going to be talking about Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the newest of the uh, Marvel TV shows on Disney+. And um, to me, what did I think of it? I thought it was a mixed bag. You know, there's some really great parts, and some not so great parts. It wasn't nearly as good as WandaVision, and was disappointing in some ways, but it was still worth watching and I did enjoy it. Like, it's it's better than Iron Fist, or the last two seasons of Jessica Jones, or stuff like that. Like, it wasn't bad, but it was still... had some issues. So it's in that little middle area for me when it comes to Marvel shows. Uh, let's start off with the greats. I liked Falcon's characterization a lot. He has much more depth and personality than he did in the movies, though that's not saying much because him in the movies, he was just like, I'm here to help, and <laughs> he didn't really contribute much. Like, he was cool, but he, he wasn't really, like, useful, you know? I also liked Bucky a lot in the series and how I had to deal with um, his regrets for killing those people. And all the horrible accents he did, even though he wasn't in control when he did them. It was kind of a nice thing, like, makes you think, like, if you're not in control of what you do, are you really responsible for them? And I guess Bucky's arc in the series was him coming to terms that, no, you know, it wasn't really his fault. And he had, well, he felt like he had the moral obligation to apologize to all the people he's wronged. But, like, I don't really think he needed to. I think he needed to emotionally, just to clear his conscience, because I feel like some part of him felt like he was responsible for their deaths, even though he knows that he was underneath the control of Hydra. Uh, and I thought the main two leads' chemistry was great. You know, it felt like a buddy cop show with their opposing personalities. And I also liked John Walker. You know, he came off as Captain America, the new Captain America after Falcon made that dumb decision to give the seal to the government. First of all, you never do anything for the government. Don't, don't give the government anything because they'll ruin it. But Falcon has made this mistake, and now John Walker's Captain America, and he's terrible at it. And I thought Wyatt Russell's performance was really good. He's really good at playing unhinged. And I like the slow but steady build-up to his mental breakdown at the end of Episode 4. You know, he started off as overconfident, and then he kind of lost control of the situation. It's made him go off the deep end and needlessly kill that person in front of a bunch of cameras. He got hashtag cancelled. Um... I don't know, I liked it. I, th I thought it was cool. Um, kind of reminded me of the boys a bit, though not as funny. I liked how Elaine from Seinfeld, aka Julia Louise Dreyfus, showed up. And I'm guessing she'd be in the next Captain America movie as the villain. Because it would be weird if we saw her in this and she never shows up again. Because what's her motives? You know, what? why is she here? What's the point? So I'm just guessing she's going to be in Captain F 4. Um, I also liked Zemo from Civil War, and I thought he and John Walker were more entertaining than the actual villains in the show, the terrorists. I thought they had more development and personality, like, I actually cared about those guys. That part of the show I liked. Um, and I thought Sarah and Cotto herself uh, didn't really add much to the series, and it was pretty obvious he was the mole. Though my dad has a theory that he's really working for the good guys and he's a triple agent. So I guess we'll have to see in a couple of years or whenever they make that movie. But going back to the terrorist group, I really hated them. You know, I hated them. They're one of the worst villains I've seen in Marvel. And that's saying something, because Marvel's not exactly known for their villains in those standalone movies. I didn't like how the motive was they wanted shit that wasn't theirs. And they wanted to kill half the population. It seems like a bunch of spoiled, entitled assholes, you know? But Falcon thinks they're like sympathetic figures. Like, like no, Kali killed dozens of people. She's not like this misunderstood, tragic figure. She's just an asshole. And <laughs> there's not more to it than that. I don't know. I, I didn't like Falcon's speech at the end when he tells the government to do battle. I hate that language in debates because you, you can't just say, do battle, you know, because it offers no real solutions to the problems and only addresses things at face value. So, those last two things were my main criticisms of the series. Though, um, they weren't that bad enough to bring the whole series down. It's not like I wasted six hours of my life 
I've watched Wolf stuff. Um, so I'm going to give this a B-. Hopefully Captain America 4 is pretty cool. Um, I did like how they made Falcon the Captain America at the end. Though I think it was kind of stupid of him to trust the government anyway in the beginning, so... <laughs> it kind of, kind of makes you feel like this show is pointless in a way. Huh. Well, that's it. Uh, see you guys next time. Have a nice day and stay safe and...